What's up you guys, Ethis Mystical Child here, coming to you with a pick a card. Hope all is well with you guys. And hopefully you enjoy the summer and you have good spirits whenever you see this reading. I have tried this reading three times. Well, this is the third time. The first time, the reading just ended. It says no storage in my phone. That was a whole lot. The second time I did this reading, all of a sudden, the phone was just like taking screenshots out of nowhere. Just screenshotting until all of the storage was going out of the phone. So this is pile number three times I'm doing it. Because I said pile number three times because this is my third time trying to do this reading. So this pile is already started. This is pile one. So pile one, because this was initially pile three. I was almost done to read and when it just started snapping all of these screenshots. So, here we go again. I'm here to tell you. The title is Who's Coming Your Way in Love? If it was me, I wouldn't even blink at this person. I wouldn't even pay this person any attention, the information that's coming out. And whoever doesn't want this to come out, I'm going to keep doing this reading until I get it out. So, yeah. There's a whole bunch of energy that is just not good. It's not good. So we have pile one with the green adventuring. Pile two with the amethyst. Pile three with the, I'll use this again, the um, red jasper. So one, two, three. Shout out to you guys again. Meet you in pile one. Tom Scamp is going to be in the description box and message box. See you in pile one. Pile two. I mean, pile two. Pile one, if you pick this green adventurine and this deck, this is your reading. I've tried to do this reading three times already. And for various reasons, this reading keeps shutting out, shutting off, all type of crazy is happening. So, here we go. Again. Coincidentally, your timestamp is um, 155. 155 is 11. The original reading, your timestamp was 111. And then 10, 11 came out. So I'm going to tell you these real quick and then I'm going to get on with the reading. Tom's, I mean, angel number 111, it says intuition. Time is in, time to implement long cherished ideas. You're on the right track towards making your dreams and visions a reality. The right people, circumstances, and resources are being sent your way. Happiness and new opportunities are at hand. Trust the process. Whoever is for this pal... The person who's coming your way don't want you to know this. They don't want you to know that good things are heading your way. They want to block your intuition. They want to block you. They want to hold you up. This person doesn't want to come bring love to you. This person is a person that likes to uh, like treat people like a notch on a belt. They're very rude. They're very disrespectful. Now, what's going to come out right here, right now, I don't know. But this is what's been coming out for the first pal for the last two readings. This is the third reading. Now... Angel number 1011, it says take action. This is a call to move forward. The sooner you get going, the sooner you will accomplish what you set out to do. Those with patience will eventually reap the rewards of their perseverance. Again, whoever's coming your way, and none of those pals for the first two readings that I did and have to redo them, there was no love there. It's like these people are scrambling. Right now, a lot of planets are in retrograde. So there are a lot of toxic energy, a lot of people being beat by karma, a lot of people realizing they picked the wrong person. So a lot of these people are scrambling, trying to get back to where they want to be. But where they want to be, their energy is not, is not fitting for where they want to be. These people need to go heal themselves, look within themselves, and do some inner, introspection and healing, seriously. Now, what we have here is the Ace of Blades in reverse. We have the Justice, and then we have the Lovers. We have the Knight of Cups, the Six of Cups, and we have the Nine of Blades. Somebody here is illogical. However they think, is illogical. These people are tyrannical the way they think. They live in a false reality. And this is why this Ace of Blades is here in reverse. Hold on for a second. These are individuals that act like they know what they're talking about, like they have their self together, but they don't. It's all a smoke screen. These people also don't follow their intuition. These people follow people. They don't, they're not leaders either. So you have the ace of blades with the justice and the lovers. Somebody here 
seem like they want justice for a love situation. There's arguments going on. Some of them want to talk to you. They come in your way because they feel like you can help them with their issues. Some of you have that type of energy, like the Hierophant energy where you can help people with their issues. But these people are the type of people who like to argue. This is heading your way. This is what the Ace of Blades look like in reverse. Tyrannical people, ignorant, arrogant people, people who's immature. They don't want to grow up. The lovers is here. These people look seem like they think that they could grow old with you, that you can love them. Some of this is past life karmic issues that's coming into this life. Some of them want to come to you and act like they're your friend, but these people are not your friend. Then you have the Knight of Cups, the Six of Cups, and then the Nine of Blades. Somebody here is going through stress. Somebody's born on October the 10th. Somebody here is taking pills. They're drinking a lot. Some people, trigger warning, are cutting themselves. They have cutting issues. They're injuring themselves. They're harming themselves. Somebody here have um, barbed wire tattoos or rose tattoos. Somebody could have like an astrology blanket or a, yeah astrological blanket or like a throw around their house. If you a female, you like to have red nails, red stiletto nails particularly. But somebody here stressed out. You like to have purple hair. Somebody's drinking and taking medication to get over this situation. This was a painful ending. If it haven't ended yet, there's a lot of betrayal, a lot of backstab going on. Justice is in the middle. So right now, somebody's facing karma. They get beat by karma and they want to come back to you. Again, this could be a past life situation. This could be a childhood friend. This could be a family member. But somebody here is being beat by karma. They want to come back to you because they remember the good times with you. They remember how they had fun, how it was carefree, how you was loving, how you were nurturing. With this Knight of Cups, the Knight of Cups is Mr. Tony no good. He's a love bomber. So this is a person that could have, uh, they could be Aquarius, Pisces, Cusp. But this person want to love bomb. This is a person that will see you in a train station. Some of you going to work, you see this person often. And this person seemed like a nice person, a nice, easygoing person. This person is, is not really there mentally and emotionally. They're not there. They're not, they, no, they, mm -mm. What time is it? Let me start clarifying some of this. Clarify this, a clarify this Ace of Blades in reverse. For Pal, the Emperor wanted to show his face. You could have partied with some of these people. It's the Queen of Cups that came out. So somebody had come across like they loving, somebody they caring, somebody that's nurturing. This is how this person is going to come across. Like they helpful. Some of them going to talk like they have a soft voice, like they're very loving, very charming, very caring. Some of them even probably go out the way and like try to help animals and act like they love animals and stuff like that. But uh, -uh I wouldn't trust this person. And animals is big in this um, pile. So some of you guys could work with animals. You could be a veterinarian, veterinarian tech, a surgical tech. You could be a nurse. Something is here with the um, health care. So you could work in the health care field as well. For some of you guys, some of you guys could be this queen of cups, this loving, charming person. But this person seems like they're going to try to mirror you so they could love bomb you. Use this curve. I don't even really want to use this deck. When I say use this, you see how I said that and then I said clarify. I don't want to use that. I already have these, these, um, um, out of all of my kippers. It's a lot of kippers. These are the only ones that fell out upright, so I'm going to read these out. You have, okay, so you have poverty and thoughts in reverse. So I'll show you in the upright, but it's in reverse. I'll keep them in the upright. I can read them both ways. You have the poverty, you have thoughts, you have wealthy man, you have bad health, you have false person, and you have change. Somebody here is in need of a place to stay. They in poverty. They in need of a place to stay. So this person could be heading your way because it's who's heading towards you in love. This person is thinking of you, where they can go. They're trying to figure out how could they get to you because remember, this person is the person in poverty in reverse. They're trying to think of where could they go to get somebody 
to help them, take care of them, nurture them, just give them any type of um, stability or any type of assistance. Some of you are the wealthy man. Because the wealthy man came out and then you have this queen of cups. Some, some of you are loving. They know that you have money. They know that you're nurturing. They know you're caring. They know that you like to take care of people naturally, especially if you're in a health care um, career. You know, yeah. Somebody's in bad health. Like I said, somebody's in bad health. Somebody's in bad health because they, they don't have anywhere to stay. Some are in bad health because they need to, the way they think is not good. They, they, this person needs to grow up. And then you have false person here. So this person is a person that's in, in, in dire need right now. You see the nine of blades? They are in dire need right now. It's a lot of dogs here. You could have a pug. You could have a golden retriever. Somebody could have a golden retriever or a pug. Or what you call these dogs? This dog right here is a, um, could be a Dachshund. You could have a Dachshund dog. But somebody here is a fire sign. Or they come across fiery. But this person is a false person. And this is the reading that, um, the message that kept coming out through all pals. So let me start clarifying this. Where's the deck that I want to use here? Every time I did this reading, this is the third time I'm doing it. This is the, the information that's coming out. Clarify this false person. What power one needs to know about this false person heading towards them? Somebody could be born in August or on the 8th of any month. Somebody could be born August 10th, August 9th, August 13th, August, ooh, August 16th. It says undecided. Choosing between lovers, competing for affection. So this person is trying to go where they think they can benefit. They want to keep somebody as well in a in a love triangle. They want people to compete for them. It's like they don't know where to go. They undecided. And these this this person wanna keep you in a toxic situation. Clarify this um the thoughts in poverty. What power one needs to know about this situation? It says hold on. Okay, I don't even know where I've left off at. Shit. I remember I was telling you the dates where a person could be, um, birthday could be. Somebody's birthday could be April 8th, April 9th, April 16th, April 31st, April 10th. The initial C, um, C, M, and E could be important to you. Clarify this thoughts. No, not thought. Yeah, it was thoughts. That's where I was at. Clarify this thoughts in poverty. Some of you probably nurtured this person before they know you loving and caring. You will give them some that your good old energy. They'll suck up your good old energy and then they will go off and, and again have you compete and taking your energy to somebody else. It says teasing, dangle, partial, dangling partial truths, needing answers, shifting. This came out in Power One, the original reading. You see how it says needing if dangling partial truths? This is that running in between people. The three of cups didn't come out, but this person liked third parties. Somebody could have a black cat. Somebody could work for Uber. Somebody could also drive a, a motorcycle or one of them scooter motor scooters. Clarify this lover's card and what power one need to know about this person coming towards them. It says late bloomer, age gap or immature, attitude out of sync, need more time. Yeah, you guys could have an age difference. If you don't have an age difference, this person is definitely immature for their age. Y'all not on the same level. Y'all not equally yoked. Clarify this bad health. Why is this bad health here? I'm starting to get a headache. This person could give you a headache knowing that you with somebody or they want to be with you and they not e equally yoked with you. Because as soon as I said that, my head just started hurting. Somebody here likes to wear purple hair, for real, for real. Purple hair, blonde hair, dark brunette hair. Somebody could have gray hair. It says secret past, skeletons in the closet, not telling the whole story. So somebody could be um, have STDs that you need to worry about because that's skeletons in the closet with this bad health. Clarify this, um, hold on, let me see something. Clarify this wealthy man. 
Who's this wealthy man for? It says crushed. You are hurting emotionally right now. You need time to heal before you jump in again. Whichever side that is, take it how it applies. There's a gold digger lurking. A.K.A. this false person. And you see this false person have somebody with them back there? This person is a type of person potentially in a relationship. An open relationship where they use people and bring it to their household. Bring it together in their household. These people probably out lurking because they need money to find somewhere to stay. For some of you guys. Clarify this Knight of, um, Knight of Cups. It says Deadly Combo. Dangerous when together. Trigger and explosive. So some of you guys are dangerous when y'all together. Y'all shouldn't be together. Y'all toxic for each other. Or this couple is toxic. Where I just explain what they, what they go out and do. Let me come out of this deck. Let me use this deck real quick. What is... Want to come out July? This came out in your original pile. You're reading this person is going to be around you now. Between now, let's see, it says the fall, the morning time, but it went in reverse. So, this person is in bad health. They whatever they do at night and these skeletons in a closet, yeah, have them in bad health because the way this just spun until from morning to night and went over there with the bad health and this clarified the bad health. This person, yeah, they whatever they do at night, they this is a person that party hard and do stuff at and, and turn toxic at night. Whatever drugs and stuff they uh, they take, turn them into a different person. It's not. It says it's worth waiting for. I don't know what that means. What well, allow things to come? I don't know what that worth waiting for is. Let's see something. Let's clarify that real quick, and then I'm going to pal. Pal, three, pal two. My brain is skewed or wet. What pal I'm in. Clarify is worth waiting for. It says paradise. Happiness, expansive joy, playfulness, oneness. Oh, it's worth waiting for. Yeah, fall time. Maybe a real true love is going to come through in the fall time. Because this is not worth waiting for. This is coming through in July. And then worth waiting for came out. And then fall is here. Yeah, you're going to have somebody come to you in the fall. Or this person could be an earth sign. Take what apply and leave the rest. I'm going off the pal too. So like and subscribe if you've gotten something from this. Till next time in Tarot Land. Pal two, if you pick this deck and this amethyst, this is your reading. Shout out to you guys. Hope all is well with you. And hopefully you could get some insight in your situation with this reading. It's summertime, so hopefully you enjoy your summer as well. So shout out to my subscribers and all, oh, what's popping with you guys? And if you're a visitor, welcome. Returning visitors, welcome back. Today's title is, Who is Coming Towards You in Love? So I've tried to do this reading. This is the third time I tried to do the reading. And it was a whole disaster going on. Many things happen, and it's just energetically. The energy is off. So I'm kind of happy that this pal kind of changed its, its tone. For the third time because it's actual love being presented here now will you guys be aware of this i don't know hold on for a second some of you guys gonna be stuck in your head when this love offer comes to you and some of you gonna be looking at this love offer like can you trust it so some of you guys need to come out of your head or somebody is stressed to come to you either or either you're not gonna see it coming and you're gonna be stuck in your head or somebody's stuck in their head and have a lot of anxiety to bring this love offer to you. Now you have the four of pentacles here. You have the four of pentacles. With the eight of swords. And then you have the ace of cups. Which is love being brought to you guys. And then you have the hangman. So a strong Pisces energy here. Strong Pisces energy here. Somebody here is in a, a mental confusion. Because with the wheel here. It's like strong Pisces energy. Somebody here has not a sword. Somebody is in their head. Somebody is stressed out about bringing this love over to you. Some of you are in hermit mode. Some of you could be a Pisces. Or some of you are going to, they know that you're going to look at this with every detail you can look at this um, offer with. So, but this is not how it's supposed to go. It's supposed to go like this. 
because this is how they want to they want to bring it to you but this person have anxiety they anxiety ridden this person is up in the middle of the night thinking about this i don't know why they so stressed out but it went from the eight of swords to the nine of swords so this person had themselves in a mental prison really really thinking about this situation some people are up in the middle of the night some some people get up like it's like 220 so 220 may be an age number for you or you could be seeing 22 or this person could be born on the 22nd of any month or they could be born in april now the four pentacles is here somebody is holding back somebody's being reserved somebody is it's like i don't know if a breadcrumb situation was going on here in the past and somebody wanted you to chase them they wanted to breadcrumb you and make you chase them in the past. Maybe now this is why they have anxiety to push forward in the future, the present in the future to come to you and bring you this love offer. Because look, they trapped in their head again to bring this love offer to you. They're trapped. Somebody's trapped. Somebody want to present the love offer and then somebody's trapped. Somebody have anxiety to bring this love offer through. So let's start clarifying this real quick. Um, I will use this deck first. No, 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 no. Where's my deck that I like to use? I haven't even prepped it. Somebody's closed off and guarded. Clarify this Four of Pentacles and this Eight of Swords. Somebody could be in another contract. Somebody could be in another relationship with. Somebody could be in another relationship with somebody, but pause, because I wanted to tell you about this, Sila. Somebody in another relationship. You see this five of cups? Somebody is mourning. Somebody is hurt. Somebody is depressed. Somebody feel lack. Somebody could be a Scorpio. That they let, they mourned the, the, the love that was lost. The love that was spilt. The love that wasn't cherished. Then you have this soulmate energy card here with the six of cups. Somebody wants to really bring you an offer. Somebody could be from your um, past. This could be a childhood love for you as well. But somebody want to bring you a love offer. But this person is a person that think elephants can fly this person is like kind of like in fantasy land with this then you have the three of cups behind here so this person was busy giving to other people they didn't want to give to you with the page of wands behind that this person couldn't control they um they inner they inner demons this person was out partying with other people they's very lustful they didn't know who to decide where to go where to commit some of these people is not even a commitment type of person. And judgment was called on them. Universe called judgment. You guys, gatekeepers, ancestors called judgment on this. But this person want to come back to you because they think about the love that was spilt. But some of you guys are protecting yourself from them. And a moon came out. Somebody's strong cancer and Capricorn energy here. But somebody have a contract somewhere already. Saturn is here. Capricorn, strong Capricorn and cancer energy right here. There's karmic ties. This person is staying in a relationship just because they feel like they committed to it or they're responsible for it. Maybe they have kids here. But something toxic and, and karmic is going on here. This person is not looking at they not healing their trauma from their childhood or wherever this trauma is coming from. They they're not they living in a false reality. Clarify this nine of swords and eight of swords. Somebody want forgiveness. They want to have apology or they want to give you apology and they want forgiveness. This person is in a mental prison. This person could be in a spiritual prison or a real prison as well. But this person is in prison. This person is drinking to get over the situation, potentially popping pills. This is a nightmare for this person. This is a nightmare for this person that wants to head towards you in love. Clarify this will of fortune. divine intervention this was fate this is a comic situation yeah this is definitely like this is it's it's a tower as well your guys detoured you you close out a comic cycle with this person and just push forward this person is now trapped in a karma this is a part of their karma for some of you guys 
They wanted you to chase them. Your, your guys, God, universe, whoever you believe in, said, no, you will not do that to mine. You won't. No, you won't. Mine don't chase anybody. Yeah, this is crazy. This is crazy. This is a total different energy from the first two readings. Clarify this hangman and this ace of cups. You hear this song? Because your love is life changing. Transcendence. Unity. This person needs to learn themselves. They don't know themselves. They don't know themselves. And this is a part of their karma. They have to, they have to delve with, and they, they, they trauma, they unmet needs. This person can't emotionally, this person can't emotionally commit to you in a proper way. They can't, they not, they, they not. It's, it's, clarify the four of pentacles with this ace of pentacles and this ace of cups. Self-love. This person needs self-love. This person could be a person that likes to hide their hand or they, they kind of passive. They don't stand up for what they want. Ancestors is on the bottom right here. Somebody ancestors has got in them. But like I said, your ancestors are deciding you. These, peop these people and ancestors trying to touch them too for them to get an inspection. But this, this is not happening. It doesn't seem like it's happening. What time is it? I'm about to go to pile three. But before I go to pile three, let me clarify this a little bit for you. Let me see something. Where we at? Clarify this divine, um, divine intervention. Jeez. It says adrift, not willing to settle down or be responsible. Time, time to commit and put down roots. A vicious cycle. Pattern of relationship issues, bad habits, no win situation. Just told you this. This person have trauma they need to figure out. I said to power one, somebody probably drive a motorcycle. There's that motorcycle that I was talking about. Um, yeah. Yeah. They're not willing to settle down. This person is, they, I don't know. This person, now that they're willing to settle down, when they were supposed to settle down, they weren't willing. But now they want to settle down. But this is a pattern they stuck in, a karmic pattern they stuck in. They stuck with comics. They're on a comic wheel. This person is adrift. They know they're getting beat by comics. says alone. You feel like you are in this situation all by yourself. But it won't be like this forever. And this is for you guys who have been tormented by this person. So if you have gotten something from this, like and subscribe. Going off to Pile 3. Pile 3, if you pick this deck... And this, Red Jasper, this is your reading. Shout out to you guys. Hope all is well. Hopefully this could be some assistance for you in your situation. Give you some insight on what's going on. And hopefully you're enjoying the summer. Shout out to my subscribers. New and old. What's popping with you guys? If you're a visitor, welcome. Returning visitors, welcome back. The title today is, Who's Coming Towards You in Love? Now, who's coming towards you in love? This person is thinking and, and conspiring with a group of people, it seems like. Like how they going to come back to you. How they going to present themselves to you. Or they could have done this in the past. This person came across like a king of cups. But there was really a queen of swords in reverse. This queen of swords was in a deck originally in reverse. I put it upright. And when I was pulling out your cards, it came back out in reverse. This person is a toxic person, extremely toxic. They care about themselves. They're very cold and callous. They don't care about nobody, but they come across like they're very helpful, very, very helpful, very loving, very charming, this person. But this person had some type of plan with a group of people. Moving into the present, this person is depressed, very depressed. they suffering right now with this five of pentacles. Somebody is letting they... They hurt and depression take over them. This person seems like they're a little codependent to and have a little lack going on with themselves. Like they don't feel good about themselves. They could be immature and insecure as well. You have the Ace of Wands. And then the Ace of Wands, the two uh, um, swords cross the Ace of Wands when I was pulling out the, the cards. So this person have a lot of passion for you. A lot of passion. And they up in their head about this passion. It's a lot of blockage this person has. They have a lot of blockage. They need to make a decision, a heart-over-head decision, but they don't want to make it for some reason. 
I don't know what's going on with them. I'm going to clarify it. Then you have the seven of pentacles in reverse. Somebody's not working on something at all because somebody's in a pr mental prison or somebody's in real prison. So, let me clarify this real quick. Clarify this three of pentacles over here with this king of cups and queen of swords. This person could have been in a toxic relationship with somebody and they were scheming and conspiring on you trying to get something out of you i don't know it says facade and belief so this person was wearing a mask this is a fake person clarify this three of pentacles what's going on somebody's spying and watching spying and watching clarified itself what is this spying and watching what is this person spying in it says leap. You see how it crossed it? This person want to take a leap of faith to you. I'm going to leave that alone. I'm going to start clarifying in some ways, a different way. Clarify this eight of pinnacle. I mean eight of swords. Why is this eight of swords here? The party and remembering and messages. This person is in a mind now, in a mental prison, how they left you to the side for third parties that they had. They didn't listen to their intuition about this relationship. And now they want to communicate with you. And they hurt because they can't communicate with you. This is this person who want to head towards you in love. Clarify this seven of pentacles in reverse. This person was a controlling person. A masculine that was very controlling. This person wanted you for their money. They didn't want to invest in you. They didn't want to invest in you at all. They wanted to keep you in your head, tied up in your head, and they didn't want to invest in you. Or if this haven't happened, this is what's going to happen. This is the person that's heading towards you. This person is a toxic, like, narcissistic type of person. They want to keep you under control. Hold on for a second. Clarify this masculine and his control tactics with this Ada. It says, been burnt. Afraid to love somebody again. Unhealed trauma. Run away. Yeah, this is why this person tried to control you, because they can't control themselves. They got other people controlling them. This is a person do, who don't have, like, a type of immature person who don't have the balls to stand up for what they want. But they'll let somebody else control them. If they're in a relationship with somebody else with this comic, they let this comic control them. They turned their power over to this person already. Clarify the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. It says up in the air and want to come out. Last messages, because this is about the... Um, what's up, Miss guy? It says, bad timing. Too little, too late. Taken, not ready. Love again. They didn't want to vest in you. Now it's too late. They know it's too late. This is why they in the current stage right now. They going through karma. They are hurt. They depressed. They feel like they are out in the cold. It says, trouble following them around. Tempting, addictive charm. Devilish. Last messages for real. Clarify this facade. It's going to cut off if a card... Oh, it says alone and vicious cycle. Till next time, like and subscribe.